Black of Dawn. Darkness. Oh, bro. I'm on my break again. Well, not break lunch. I got 20 minutes with you guys. I am a little tired. It's been a drag all day, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It has. But you know me, man. You know me, man. I had to take it there. You know me just being me. I had to take it there. You know, I don't, I don't know how to quit shit, man. When I get tired, that's when I dig my ten toes down deeper and keep going harder. Because it's funny that laziness and tiredness are all state of mind. It is. I realize that. It is a state of mind. Whenever you feel yourself getting dragged down and everything else like that, don't give in to it. Because as soon as you give in to it, the thought itself consume you and you become it. So once I start to feel like that, I try to find reasoning with myself. <laughs> you feel me? I start reasoning with myself. I actually make a deal with myself. Like, let it pass. I encourage myself. Word up. I try to... I try to... <laughs> shit crazy it works all the time do I tell you that I don't want to say too much you feel because these niggas be listening and try to use it against you but then against me and myself so I'm gonna I'm help you guys help yourself out whenever you feel tired right this is magic in itself whenever you feel tired remember it's a state of mind it's, it's, it's almost like tiredness and laziness is almost like going into a room and as soon as you enter into that room, that room, uh, think of that room as a thought, as a thought that you go into your mind. So there's a room in your mind that is called laziness. And there's also a room in your mind that's called ambition, strength, and all the, all the categories. Now you wanna get out of laziness. Sometimes you wanna be in laziness because it's like you wanna chill. This is when you pamper yourself. You're like, you know what? I'm gonna be, my, I'm gonna be lazy today. I'm off, da da da. So laziness is not always bad. It's sometimes it's self-soothing. But if you're at work or you're at a place where you cannot be lazy, this is how you get out of it. You have to reason with yourself. You literally have to cut a deal with yourself. You'd be like, yo, I got to come out of this place that I'm in right now. I feel dull. I feel drowsy. I feel unmotivated. So you have to reason with yourself. You have to basically give yourself a treat that if I come out of this, this is what I'm going to give myself. And whatever that treat is, is up to you. You know what excites you. You feel me? So from there, this is, you start making deals with yourself. And when you go through whatever excites you, whatever it is, a treat, a goal, whatever you do, be like, you know what? If I get, if I'm, if I, if I can make this one more mile, I'm gonna get me a case of beer. You feel me? Whatever excites you that makes you feel like I'm rich, or that makes you feel like oh, I am awesome. You know these things. You know these things. So these are the deals that you cut with yourself. You feel me? You'd be like, if I can get this one more mile in, if I can run this one more meter, if I can get this one more in, this is what I'm going to give myself. Don't, don't let nobody else give it to you. You got to give it to yourself. You feel me? And that's what I basically do. I cut deals with myself, man. And every time it get me through. Every time. And sometimes I psych myself out. Yet, I say some shit that would get me excited. Then, at the end of the day, I don't give myself that deal, which is a bad thing. You're supposed to... You're supposed to see it through with yourself, but sometimes I'll be like, you know what? I made it. I made it through anyway. So what's the point of even? That's the lazy. That's that's not good. You gotta always treat whenever you perform. You whenever you perform something or you accomplish something, you should always reward yourself. It's very very important. It's very important for the psychic, psychic, psyche of the mind itself. I got I got ten minutes with y'all. It's very very important. That shit works like. So every time I be exhausted, it be like, I can be down and out. You know, you know, I get attacked on a daily basis. Then I just gotta, I just, this is when the negotiate men come in. The negotiator, I'm basically negotiating myself. The laziness room, there is a room, not like a room, 
as in a room that you walk into, but the room can be a room or a present of a person. You feel me? There's different versions of you. So it could be like a present or a, it's more like a, a domain. Yeah, that's more like it. A domain that's not necessarily has to be a place. It's, it feels more like a space. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to kick it to y'all. So it feels more like a space. So a space that you can step into. But it doesn't necessarily have to be a room. Because a room seems more confined. It seems like something that you can close and open. No, this is more like a space, a domain. Something that can, it kind of comes, it doors upon you suddenly. You feel me? So, there's some haters. <laughs> but it's also reassuring, man. Whenever you hear people doing that, that's reassuring, man. That's like, yeah, yeah, you saying something. So, whenever these things dwell upon you, you got to reason with yourself. You have to reward yourself. You have to find a reason to come out of it. And all it, all it takes is a, is a change of a mind. All it takes is a, a thought, a positive thought, and that gives you strength. So I know that for a fact that all you need is positive thinking and you can draw strength from that positive thinking. You feel me? That's why it's so hard to be in grace with God sometimes. That's why it is. Like, it, it is. It definitely is, my nigga. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Because there's so much benefits in that domain that God make it hard for you to stay in there. Word. So much blessing that comes with that. This is the reason why Jesus had to fast for. This is the reason why Jesus had to fast for forty days and forty nights. You feel me? He had to fast for forty days and forty nights because it's like it requires discipline. It really does. It requires you. I wouldn't say torturing yourself, but it more it requires you to be very, very humble because you can't be in a place like that when you're arrogant. You feel me? You just can't. You can't be a hater neither. That's a fact. <laughs> you just can't. So these domains are all in your mind. Your mind can stretch beyond this world, man. You are bigger than this world itself, but yet you in it. But you're bigger than the world itself. When I say you, I'm not talking to myself only. I'm talking to everybody else. If it was me, I would say me. When I say you, that means you is plural, which means it's not a singular uh, word. It's a, a plural. It's a pr forgive my pronunciation, but it's plural. So which meaning is for everybody too. So which meaning whatever I say I'm capable of doing, you are also capable of doing. It comes down to whether you want to do it or whether you believe in it. Believe is very, believe is something that cannot be explained. Word up. It's probably the most powerful thing in the world. You just got to believe, man. If you don't believe, you can't. I don't know. Like, somebody's believing for you. <laughs> like, Because there's nothing in this world that you can do if you didn't believe in it. You feel me? Even haters believe that it is their right to hate. They believe that shit. So believe is, believe is like... Um, okay, how can I put it? Believe is a sequences to our DNA. It is embedded in our DNA. You feel me? But back to what I was saying about whenever you feel down and out, whenever you feel like there's no hope, look to yourself and reason with yourself and reward yourself. Give yourself treats. This is what you need to do. This, this is self-love at its finest. Your mate is not going to do it for you. Your parents ain't going to do it for you. You have to be able to do it for yourself. So it helps your soul be in accordance with yourself. You feel me? So you can be a little more open. And it can be a little more open with you. So y'all can share secrets with each other. You can be in a place nobody's telling you nothing. But yet you know something intu intuitively. You feel me? The reason why you know that because your soul feels comfortable enough to let you know because it feels like you need to survive or you need to strive or you need to be successful or you need to be happy or you need to see it through. You feel me? A lot of people don't have soul, man. A lot of people just don't have it. They just don't have it, man. 
feel me? We are all born with a soul. But as life goes on, it gets stretched and stripped away to the point where you lose it. You feel me? So it's very important that you keep these things. Like, you know, you cannot lose yourself from the problems that you have. You just can't, man. You just can't. You got to be stronger. You got to reason with yourself. I think the name of this video is going to be called Reasoning with Yourself and Rewarding Yourself. It's very important that you do so. It works for me all the time. I'm not going to tell you every trick of the book because most of my shit is mental anyway. You feel me? You feel me? Let me walk slowly. Yeah, most of my shit is mental and that's one of my tricks. I mean, I ain't going to give you all the uh, tricks. You feel me? This was taught to me as a youngin and I've been using it my whole life, man. You got to reason with yourself. When you see me doing some dumb shit sometimes, try, probably buying me some wine or... You buying extra sodas and everything else. I'm buying some snack cookies and everything else. These are the things that make me happy. You feel me? So I'm rewarding myself in some form of fashion. And people be like, oh, you love honey bun. And it's like, man, you, you don't even understand what is going on. I'm just rewarding myself because these are the things that make me happy. Some people, they, it could be a gold chain. Some, it could be a Gucci belt. I just minimize my reward to something that is easy and accessible to get. You feel me? After a hard work or after a hard trial, you feel me? This is what I do, man. You feel me? You have to do that. It works like magic, my nigga. You have to push yourself through. You feel me? And if you don't, and if you do not accomplish it, please don't go and get that thing. You feel me? Sometimes you might see me. I go all out for a pancake. Like I walk miles just to go get a pancake syrup. And that's me rewarding myself because that's what made that's me right there. That's what makes me happy. <laughs> you feel me? That's just and I need to go reward myself very soon too because I did something that I was very proud of. But what I'm craving for, what I promised myself, is not easily accessible. I probably will have to go to New York to get that shit. No lie. So it's like you feel me? Sometimes I owe myself. You feel me? And it's okay. You can owe yourself. You can be like, well, I owe myself that. You feel me? But nah, the camera got to be on that side now. You feel me? Comes from that side to this side. What side you on? Huh? You can't be playing both sides, nigga. Two masters can't live in the same household, which meaning you cannot have two. You can't have a positive thought and a negative thought dwelling in the same mind. No, you just can't have it. You feel me? It, it, it got to be interchangeable. Sometimes you're going to have bad days and you're going to think the worst of people and you want to do the worst things. I've been there several times. I probably was there today. I'm not even sure. Then some days, but, and then some days you're going to be very positive, but your overall percentage should be a positive thought. You feel me? You feel me? But like I said, laziness, wickedness, thinking positive and everything else, these are all domains. It's a present that dwells upon you. Oh shit, I got a few more. I got two more minutes with you. It is a present that draws up. When you see people pushing through, they're doing it automatically without even knowing what they're doing. But it's a present. And they just and they just reasoning with themselves. It's like, nah, I gotta go. I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. This is these are all uh, methods of reasoning with themselves. These are all methods of negotiating with themselves and pushing through. Cause it's a present that has dwelled upon them and it's kind of it's kind of like it's weightless, but it's still so hard to come out of it. It's very hard to explain. You feel me? So it's like, I know when I, I feel the present, when it comes upon me, I'm like, oh man, what is it? What is it? What is it in this surroundings? What is it that came upon me that made me get into this space? Sometimes it could be people using forceful, toxic drugs and everything else. So when that happens, you just gotta, you fight harder. You feel me? And you know, sometimes, sometimes when you take these things yourself, or maybe you didn't get enough sleep and everything else like that, you, these are gateways where invite these kind of domains in. You feel me? If you're not taking care of yourself or you're stressing yourself out too much, it makes it that much easier for these domains to just come in and dwell upon you. And they just love, it's like a fat nigga just dead, like it just, that, that, the present of it. Shout out to all my fat niggas, but you know I gotta come at y'all. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? It's just, it's just like, it's just the, 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 the present of it all. It's just there. It's just, it is supposed to be there to aggravate you. It's almost like depression and stress. 
It's not there to, to kill you. It is there to, it, it is there to move you to do something else. It is there to move. You see, when, whenever a person is depressed, that means they're depressed about something that is, like it's basically, depression is not bad. Depression is there to remind you to do something that you, to do something about your unhappiness or stress and that's what depression is it's more like a, a an alarm it's like a signal it's a call to attention you feel me and that's the same thing with laziness and everything else it's like a domain it, it comes upon you it's supposed to move you to do something you feel me and it's like you're not supposed to be like oh, i'm depressed and start taking pills and go to the hospital and you prolong it no you're supposed to you know what to do already so it's like reason with yourself and you got to push it through i just seen a little girl running yeah you got to run Matter of fact, that's the topic I wanted to talk about. You see, running, remember, we are a computer, right? We are organic computers. When you run in a system, it said running, the system said running diagnosis. You feel me? So it's running the system. And that's the same thing you do when you run in itself. You run your system and it helps the system flow that much better. When you turn on your computer, guess what? It runs, the, it, it runs it, it runs it, it said it's running, it's running software. It's running this, it's running that. And that's what you do. When you start jogging and when you're working hard or when you're moving and you're doing something productive, these are all formulas of running. It helps your system go further so when the domain doors upon you guess what or virus or anything else comes upon you you know that you have the right equipment so ready to fight it because you already in shape or you already in the good state of mind to fight it through and i gotta go